And welcome back. The leader of the African Christian Democratic Party, the ACDP, the Reverend Kenneth Mishra, has accused some of his party members in the city of Johannesburg of being bribed to vote with the ANC to remove Speaker Vasco da Gama. Da Gama, a DA member, was ousted in a late night no confidence vote on Wednesday following the accusations of interfering in tender procurement and being biased in the city council. The PAC tabled the no confidence motion and was supported by other parties, among them the ANC, the coalition government led by the DA, Action SA and the Freedom Front plus backed DA, or rather backed Da Gama. And we're joined now by the leader of the African Christian Democratic Party, Reverend Kenneth Mishra. Very good evening to you, Reverend Mishra, and thank you so much for speaking to us. So um, is this accurate that you believe that some of your members were bribed to vote in the manner that they did? And, and on what basis? Good evening, Tepiso, and good evening to all your viewers and listeners. Um, I just came back from Parliament few minutes ago, and um, I got a call from my members. They said they hate the rumors. Mm. So what I have said is the what I've heard is still to be confirmed uh, as there are investigations taking place by our own members. So it was just a rumor that still need to be confirmed. Okay, so we understand that five council members, including members of your own party, voted um, uh, against the party mandate. Just uh, outline for us the discussions that were had beforehand and the outcome that you saw. Well, the working relationship that we have with other political party, parties did not start yesterday. Uh, from the beginning, all our councillors know that we cannot assist the ANC that has destroyed infrastructure in the country. So they know that the policy position of the ACDP is we want change. That is why we want to work with other political parties that want to see change. Because supporting the ANC is perpetuating their corruption all over the world. They know the corruption that has been done and practiced by the ruling party. So it is a party position. And also yesterday I'm told that the leader of the province met with our councillors and told them what is expected of them, reminded them that they have to continue standing with coalition partners. And obviously they didn't do that. Two of them didn't do that. Now, it is a serious, a serious offense because it is defiance. When a leader gives an instruction that you know of, that before uh, even the vote of last night, you knew the party position. But if so you decide to go against the party position, what you're saying is there was a clear mandate. We understand the vote was lost 136 to uh, 132. So obviously with the outcome, it is clear that uh, instructions were not followed, particularly for the ACDP. Have you identified the member? Has that member been summoned? And has there been a conversation about why things went all right? Um, Members obviously are, have been identified because they raised their hands. And somebody sent me a snapshot of our members, and you can see them from the picture, with hands raised up. So identifying them is not a problem at all. If it was a secret vote, it would have been difficult to identify them. But it was not secret. Everybody can show their hands. Now, that is not an issue. Now, the leader of the province, met with them today and uh, he obviously because i was on uh, in the air flying from cape town i will get the full report tomorrow and the provincial executive is going to meet tomorrow afternoon to discuss to discuss step which steps to take give them an opportunity 
to state their case. And then the NEC will also look at the matter on Monday late afternoon. And I, some people would ask, but why would the NEC want to be involved in a matter like this? The fact is, on Tuesday, after hearing some rumors of something like this possibly happening, I called one of the councillors, who's the whip in council. I asked him whether what the rumors we are hearing are true or not. He said, well, there are rumors, but I know my position and I know the position of my party. I will not go against Would this the decision be... that my party has taken Is to work this... with other coalition partners. Is this a dismissible offence, Reverend Mishra, because some rumours suggest that those party members who voted against their party members actually faced the axe. Is this something that you would consider as a party? Well, definitely, uh, definitely would consider that, depending on the outcome of the investigation. But that's something we would definitely consider. You know, the fact that we are a Christian party People are expecting us to keep our weight. And when we have counselors that would say one thing and do the opposite, that is a serious violation of party rules because we are Christians. The interesting thing is it's not only the ACDP that has members who went against the mandate of the party, but the focus is on the ACDP. Why? Because the ACDP is a Christian party, and the standards expected to be held by members of the ACDP are higher than normal standards, because they do not only know the party policies, but they also know that as Christians, there's a certain standard that is expected of Christians. Reverend Bishop, that's when a very I interesting promise. train of thought there, because um, there are those who argue that uh, uh, Gama was not the most popular of speakers and uh, he faces some very serious allegations. Um, if somebody were saying that they voted by their conscience as a Christian, um, you know, they felt that he should be ousted, how would you then respond to that? My response would be, we are open to discuss matters. And coalition partners, they know that we, there will be areas where we disagree. But in such cases, we need to talk. Like in a family, between husband and wife, if there is a disagreement, you would not expect the husband to publicly say, I, I don't agree with that decision, or the wife to do the opposite. We sit down and talk. If they were concerned about issues with that speaker, they should have told us, sit down with them and also talk to the party that speaker belonged to and say, we are having a problem with voting with you or in defense of this speaker for these reasons. But they never said it. They promised, even coalition partners, that they were going to stand together in opposing that motion of no confidence. After making such a, a promise, they went and did the opposite All right. of Reverend, the promise they made. Thank you now, so much. Well, as a Christian, as a leader, as a leader, people must know that lying is not part of our policies. A promise I make, the promises we make must be promises we keep. Because All right. so we'll leave we are it Christians there. before we are politicians. We leave it on that note. Thank you so much for your time. African Christian Democratic Party leader, Reverend Kenneth